lot of the guys came into our Xerox building with a gun. What's the address? To shoot people. What is the address? 1200 non limits Highway, Xerox Corp. You gotta get there right away. Okay, anybody hurt? Yeah. Uh, some of the guys say some guys are down. They're dead. Just after 8 a.m., gunshots shattered what started out as a normal work day for people at the Xerox building on Nimitz Highway. Uh, we all just heard this banging noise, you know, like a piece of, you know, like a hammer beating on a piece of metal. We didn't think of anything of it, you know, right there and then. And then all of a sudden, um, a boss called out, you know, and said, follow us, and, you know, start running out. He said, what happened? He said, oh, somebody got shot upstairs. Tell me, how many patients can you see right now? Um, I'm in a room, my, my office right now, okay. but I see two people on the next room. Okay, are they moving or breathing? Uh, no, they're... Is it safe for you to go near them? Are you sure that the shooter is gone? Yeah. Many of Xerox's employees working out of this building on Nimitz Highway were interviewed by police inside a nearby cafe. Meanwhile, a steady stream of victims' relatives were ushered up to a vacant office. The human toll of the shooting can be seen on the faces of family members as they heard the fate of their loved ones. I just want to okay. let you know that we have people on their way. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Let me, now, Lance, hang on now just a minute, okay? I'm not going to lose you, but I'm okay. going to tell the ambulances what's going on, okay? Okay. There's at least six people. Six people. Okay, we need another ambulance then. I okay. think they look like they're dead. You would never think it would happen, you know, at your workplace. I mean, you hear it all around, but... No, this was too close, way too close. The victims were all men. Police say five of them were gunned down in a conference room, two others in a separate office. Police say the victims were either shot in the head or chest area with a 9mm handgun. My 33 years with the uh, police department, personally, I think this is the largest number of victims in a single murder case. The list of those killed includes the names of seven men, 54-year-old Ron Kawamae, Melvin Lee, Ron Kataoka, Peter Mark, Ford Kanehira, John Sakamoto, and Jason Balatiko. Gary Velasco peeled the Xerox stickers off his van since his was similar to Uesugi's Green Company vehicle. Velasco was shaken by the tragedy. I just know my fellow co-workers, some of them died today, that's it. This is supposed to be like the most peaceful place, you know? No violence, and now it's, this happens. You know, only in mainland, you know, happen, and now it's in Hawaii. You know, it's it's, it's just it's too unbelievable. I can't even bear it. It's like so tragic. You know, the suspect, Byron Uisugi, who drove away from the scene to an area near the Hawaii Nature Center, where he sat in his vehicle smoking cigarettes until he finally surrendered. I want you to know how profoundly saddened we are by this morning's events at the Ibele Service Facility. Like all of us at Xerox, you undoubtedly have the question, why, how could this happen? Only time and the work of HPD will determine that, and perhaps we'll never know. Later in the day, the crime scene began to clear. One by one, the bodies were taken away by staff from the coroner's office. Fellow Xerox employees watched from a nearby balcony. A prayer was said after each victim was loaded into the van. It's been a long day, and uh, we just prayed together with the, for the families and for the other employees. At about 7 p.m., Xerox executives closed their loading dock and put an end to this very long day. Lays of aloha draped the wall in front of the Xerox building, a farewell to the seven murdered workers. I knew five of them pretty well, wow. like especially John Sakamoto. Uh, very hard right now. Inamasa also works at Xerox. A simple mistake may have saved his life yesterday. I was on my way yesterday and uh, I wound up turning around because I I uh, needed to get some medication for my son. You could have been in the building. Yeah. Hundreds came to say goodbye. Some who knew the victims have already attended seven private ceremonies but they came again to remember. The loss of seven good men, the salt of the earth, is a terrible thing. But if their loss makes us a little more aware of how much we love and depend on one another, these men will live in our hearts forever.
just why why I just can't understand why he would do such a thing like that. He was just too quiet. 40-year-old Byron Uesugi waits in protective custody at OCCC. Many are anticipating that the case against him will go before an Oahu grand jury Tuesday morning. One week after Uisugi allegedly gunned down seven of his colleagues inside the Xerox building on Nimitz Highway. Police say Xerox employee Randall Shin was standing just inches away from the gunman, but his life was spared. And now Shin is the state's key witness. Then I said to myself, something's wrong here. This is not right. So I put the phone down and I started to walk toward the door. And it would, to me, the popping sounds were coming from the conference room area. He says he never saw who was doing the shooting. He just ran in the opposite direction. So basically I said, get out of here. So I got out of the door. I turned away from the sound. Uisugi's attorney said he was deluded, believing his co-workers were plotting against him. There had been years and years and years of torment, of conspiracy, of sabotage. And although they may not in actuality have happened, he believed them. These were fixed, firm, unshakable beliefs. But the prosecution said Uisugi was deliberate in what he did. November 2nd was his opportunity. He's been thinking about killing these people for years and years. And the problem, one of the problems he confronted was that basically they're never in the same location at the same time. That morning, everybody he wanted to kill was going to be in the, in the same room. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant guilty as charged. His insanity defense shredded by prosecutors who convinced the jury that he knew exactly what he was doing when he shot and killed seven of his co-workers at Xerox last November. I'm obviously pleased that we got that verdict, but it's profoundly inadequate to address how much we've lost. Even the defense admitted the verdict was not unexpected. I think the nature of the case, I think the fact that the insanity defense is difficult to prove, I think the fact that the insanity defense is difficult to buy. Tears flowed freely. Family members would one painful thing in common. But this time, they were crying tears of joy and relief. Relief to finally know that the man who shot and killed their loved ones will be sent to prison and not to the state hospital. After the verdict, some of them shared their feelings about the Xerox killer. Just plead guilty and just accept what he did like a man instead of trying to weasel his way out of this. I was really upset at that because of what the families have to go through again, especially the, the women. All the Xerox widows except one attended the closing arguments earlier in the day. They wept as photos were shown of how their husbands were found when gunned down last November. They didn't get to see their loved ones uh, at the Xerox building. Um, it was a crime scene, and I think they all wanted to see what happened. You want to understand, you want to make sense out of something that's really senseless. Reed Kawamai is pleased with the verdict, but admits he's still angry. Same way you would feel if it was your dad. Um, I don't know, I'm human. I, I would rather go in the back with him a little while. Better if he go to jail, he going to suffer more. Uisugi was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole in 2000 and is now at the Saguaro Correctional Center in Arizona. I was trying to figure out what would I tell my kids. And being that the verdict came the way it did, it's a lot easier on me to say that there are a lot of people out there that feel the same way and know what we feel.